tastes like Boston fish. Well, don't touch it, it's very hot. Yep, no. not exactly. Good morning, internet people. Welcome or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube. I have little man and mister here with me. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Little man seems a little bit sleepy today. Are you sleepy? Yep. Yes, we've had a crazy couple of days. We're on day, is it three or day four of being in Wales? Four, mister? Okay, we're on day four-ish of our adventures here in Wales. Um, we've been here for the Taylor concert and we spent yesterday in Cardiff just walking around. We're staying just outside in Carfilly. Um, today, we're going on another adventure. We, we're going to Castle, I don't know how you say it, so I'll probably be correct in the comments, feel free, but it's either Castle Koch, Kochel Cock, or Castle Conk. Not sure which one it is, I'll find out when we get there, but we're gonna be going out to Castle Conk today, and I think if we have time, we're gonna get some lunch. A Gruffalo Path. That's right, and also, hopefully after lunch, we're gonna be able to see the, it's called the Gruffalo Path, or the Gruffalo Trail, and it's like a little walk through the forest, um, kind of like the Gruffalo story, and that should be really fun. So, hope that you guys enjoy, and let's go. Ooh, there it is. And once again, we have scaffolding, because old places need to be renovated constantly. It is a proper Broadridge, which is really cool. I think it is. It looks pretty great. How do you say, how do you pronounce it, Daddy? Koch. 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 <laughs> Anyways, we're inside the Castle Koch now, and as I said previously, it's called the Red Castle because there's a lot of red on the inside. A couple of places inside right now are currently out of bounds, meaning you just can't go in there. So there's one of the rooms upstairs. I can't remember what the name of it is called, but um, you can't go up there because it's being repaired. Also, currently the chapel is being renovated right now, which is why all the scaffolding was outside, which is unfortunate. Anyways, um, a little couple more things about the castle is that Castle Koch was originally built kind of as like a like holiday castle, so for the people who owned it. So it's that's why it's so beautiful and like elaborately decorated because they wanted to be able to escape their lives. So quickly I'm just gonna show you a little pan around the entry, which you can see all the red. And then we're gonna go around to see the inside. Let's go down. Mm, we have to. Ugh. I'm getting better at these staircases, but I don't like them still. <laughs> oh boy, it's the dungeon. Daddy found stocks. The dungeon always looks the same, doesn't it? So just imagine, you do something bad in the castle, they're gonna lock you in here. I'm gonna pass on the whole being locked up thing either way. Um, I mean, it really puts you in perspective of what they went through back then. Yeah. Scary. But this room is really interesting, the dungeon. I just listened to the audio guide because, first of all, you'll notice there's a little hole up there is on the other side as well and that's the only source of light in here so it would just literally put like a little tiny like square of light on the floor also really interesting in here if you can see on the wall um the during the victorian area is when they restored this part of the castle and you can see if you look at the walls i'll turn it for a second you guys can see there's a transition between like the medieval and then the victorian brickwork which i think is really interesting you. where's your daddy oh, oh you're Come on, come on! Ooh, it's the kitchen. Well, let's go in there. There might be snacks in there. Oh, okay, look, but yeah, there is a snack. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's definitely a fake snack. What do you see? I don't think you're supposed to have any of that tea, sir. Because. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think that window was for. I think what would used to happen is they would cook the food over there and then they would carry it over here and hand it off into the dining room over there. Yeah, we're open. Uh, cake. Cake? Uh, and a soup. Cake. Soup or kind of soup? Pea soup. Pea soup. Pea soup, please. Slice of cake. There we go. And pea soup. Oh, what do you mean get it all over here? Yeah, this is where they eat the food that they brought out from the kitchen. I would totally eat dinner in here. Daddy, make it happen. It was redecorated during the Victorian area. So cool. I would totally eat lunch in here. I'm just saying. I can't take you boys anywhere, can I? I go first. Ooh. You can play poker in here. Ooh, the parlor. Drawing room, living room, sitting room, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I could totally hang out in here. Daddy, make it happen. Can you build this for me at home? 
Not exactly. Yeah. So yes? There's lots of things I'd love to build, but I'm not, I'm not a carpenter. I'm not a I know, you don't have to build it, you pay someone to build it. Yeah. And then suddenly you have it. Oh, that's really pretty, the ceiling, wow. Hello, welcome to the parlor. Um, the parlor is right off of the banquet hall, so it's kitchen, banquet hall, parlor, which makes a lot of sense. This room is really cool um, because, of course, it's beautiful and everything is hand-painted and hand-carved. But what's really interesting about this room is that it's kind of hard to see because of the lighting in here. But if you look at all the pictures here around the wall, um, each little like section, like right here, and let's see what else can we find. Um, like all right here, these are each individual picture graphs of stories. So like, for example, that one right there is the monkey and the cheese. And that one over there is the crow and the fox, which is really interesting. Fables are designed to like tell, ch teach children lessons, but I just think it's really cool that it's illustrated in a room that's for adults and like families rather than like in the children's room. Does that make sense? But show us around the house, sir. Oh, here we go, up those big old steps again. Well, it smells like rotten fish. It does smell like a rotten fish out there? Oh dear. It's actually a cool view though. Basically, just like a viewing point. Okay, let's see if Gen Alpha can figure out how to use this phone. Is it a camera Nope. Nope, that's not how it works. Try again. Yep. Hello? <laughs> not exactly. This one goes to right here. Nope. This one, oh, like this. Yep. Hello? <laughs> I only took him three different tries. Yeah, so we're inside of the castle now, and we're actually in like one of the first rooms that leads to Lady Boots' bedroom. And this room is really interesting because it kind of explains like how the castle was decorated, which is really neat. And it has like paintings on the wall of people like decorating it. Um, but like for example, they also have some interactives in here, and so they have like um, a hedgehog house in here, which I guess someone who lives in the castle at one point had a pet hedgehog. And they have um, a crystal visiting machine because apparently Lady Boot and her partner loved crystals. Um, and their bed is actually decorated with crystals. And then it's all kinds of just fun stuff in here. Like little man's playing with a, like I don't know what they're called. Um, but it's like one of those like, um, like old theater reel things the kids can play with. Do you know what I'm talking about? I saw some when we were in Germany um, in like the toy museum. And then over in the corner, one of the ways they decorated the castle is they used a lot of stencil work. So there's like a little kid's like stencil drawing station, which is, wait, where is it exactly? Yeah, right across from the fireplace, which is really cute for the kids. And then Mr. wants to show you something. You try it. Is it working for you? No. What? That's this room is supposed to be full of activities. It's defective. I don't know if it's the bedroom, but it's a bedroom. It's Lady Margaret's bedroom. Oh yeah, it looks like it does look like set up for children. You're right. Look, you see a crib and a yeah, like a commode. Let's see what else? Dressing table. Pretty neat. Here we are in Lady Boots' bedroom, the fanciest room in the castle, and Mr. said, what? Uh, I need a skylight. He says it needs a skylight. Yeah. We want to look up and look up in the stars. I guess you can look out the windows. That's not from the bed. You can't look <laughs> up in the sky from the bed. Mm, you can if you look at an angle. But yeah, we're up in Lady Boots' bedroom right now, and I'm sitting on the floor because I was trying to take a picture of the ceiling, which is really cool, but wow. Um, I could totally be all right with a room like this at our house, mister. Can we just move in here? Are you work in the negotiations? So that sounds like a maybe, or it sounds like a yes. Let me know in the comment section if that sounds like a maybe or a yes. Uh, but this room is really cool, let me show you. The lighting from the windows is making this kind of difficult, but first thing you see when you walk in is the giant bed that was mentioned earlier, um, where it's like, it's got the big crystal. It's on the corner, and then, to the left, you have, you know, your sink, which is actually looks like it's a real functioning sink, which is really cool. You gotta have a bench to sit on, a chair to sit on, some clothes. And then there's a fireplace right there. It says, they said in the audio description it has the family crest at the top, um, and the angel and the heart, you know, for eternal love and all of that. A wardrobe type thing, and 
I think it was just a radiator cover over there. And the ceiling is really hard to see, but wow. I'd be all right with that ceiling. Although I do wonder how much of it is just gold colored paint versus like actual gold in the paint. Does that make sense? Wow. And then if you look at the corners of the dome, you can see there's lots of foliage and monkeys. Which at the time, monkeys represent the, like playfulness, but could be seen as crude. So um, Lady Boots' husband actually went had some of them repainted because he thought they were too crude. I think they're kind of fun. This is the bed I was talking about, about how um, the crystals are on the bedpost. I expected the crystals to be bigger, but they just weren't, I guess. Um, she's got a little getting ready table over here, a vanity. Really, really, really pretty fireplace. We'll get back to that in a second. Little desk, bathtub. I was telling little man earlier, he didn't believe me when I told him that was a bathtub. He's like, no, it's too small. And I was explaining how like you can wash your arms and legs with like water and soap, but like, you need more water to clean the other bits of your body. He thought it was really funny. He thought it was a baby bath. And then the commode slash washing station where you would, you know, do what you needed to do. And then back to the fireplace. So like, it's like a classic fireplace, but what's really cool is there's a, in here it's got really intricate carving. There is supposed to be a hedgehog, a guinea pig, and a rabbit. So the guinea pig is right there, and the rabbit and the hedgehog. And then if you look up further, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see a owl and a cockerel up there, which is interesting. Maybe I'll lead us to the most important room in the whole castle. The beer is. There we go. That's the storeroom. Hey, are you testing it? I don't think they would put real wine down here, babe. It might be filled with like resin. Yeah, I think it's filled with like a resin or something. Yeah, it looks like it's full, but it's resin. Yeah, it's the grapes. So what you do is you squish them, and then you put them into that barrel right behind you for a few months. Months? Yeah. Years? Yeah, that too. And then when you're all done, you put it in the bottle so you can take it upstairs and drink it. Well, don't touch it, it's very hot. The little man's decided he's already got a job. Hey guys, welcome to the furnace room. It is super loud in here because I guess back then a furnace were loud and they wanted to recreate that. Actually in here, I'm gonna turn the camera around in a second. There's actually um, like a little like play area for kids. And so if you're visiting um, this castle with your children, they can come and like play around in here. There's a couple things they can do. They can build a castle with blocks, which is what little man and Mr. are doing. Or they can try to connect the furnace pipe from like the furnace to the radiator. What is this? Wow! <laughs> Thanks! Hey guys, uh, welcome to the park. Turns out the park that has the Gruffalo Trail is not only closed, but actually the Gruffalo Trail is part of a, um, it's called a ranch or a farm, and they have a lot of animals there, and so as a vegan family we decided that even if it was open, it probably wasn't the best choice, and somebody wanted to support. So, anyways, we used our spidey senses, as Littleman called it, to hone in on a park and we found this little random park um, in the village near the castle. So we're gonna hang out for a little while and then after that, I think that's probably gonna be the end of our Welsh adventure because it's almost four now, I think, and uh, we need to have some dinner. So I think we're gonna play for a little bit, have some home-cooked dinner, possibly a Japanese curry because I brought some with us. Mm, maybe pancakes, not sure, but that's what we're gonna do. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little Welsh video series. Uh, like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Daddy, you want push, one push? Ooh. <laughs>